SpaceX is in communication on this orientation through a request for a building permit for a liquid and air faction installation at the launch site. As part of its expansion plans, SpaceX is engaging with local authorities to secure a building permit for a liquid and air fractionation plant at its launch site. In this case, there remains methane, which cannot be produced, but which must be brought and stored from a production site which may be very distant. SpaceX has submitted a building permit application to establish a liquid and air fractionation facility at their launch site, maintaining communication with local authorities throughout the process. The short inventory, with first of all some illustrations, views of planes which clearly show the configuration of the places and the difference in color of the waters between the south and the north of the lagoon. I am also told not to spot traces of an old connection that left from Boca Chica. To go back up north, so is it pipeline cables, a trench, or a road, we don't know anything about that, but what is certain is that something, something had already been tried in the past. In fact, the two possible principles of SpaceX have been established on a strip of sand and mud deposit which separates two very different aquatic areas to the south of the site of launch, we have a closed lagoon whose yellowish waters are clearly distinguished on aerial views of the much lighter blue ones of South Padre Bay. An island to the north on the American side is South Bay, which owes its name to its southern position. From Port Isabel, it is from this location that a permanent bridge allows access. Road in hand, it is a long coastal sand rut, oriented almost north-south which separates the Gulf of Mexico from the low-lying lands behind it to the west. It also houses the various water, electricity, or telephone pipes necessary for modern urbanization. Brownsville and its industrial port facilities speak to the Omkane, almost 28 kilometers long. For Isabel, we are the first step, on the side of a single road free of the major highway. Roads, the well-known Forb Highway and another on the north bank of the canal which connects Brownsville to Port Isabel, so it's not a crazy road network with all the traffic that is there. When we have gone around the layout of the places and contents of this environment, how to transport gas most efficiently. I will start by giving you some figures, at the global level in 2023. Exchanged flows of natural gas reach a volume slightly above 1,000 billion of cubic meters. Since gas reserves are of course unevenly distributed throughout the world, the means of gas transportation sometimes has to cover long distances and cross several borders in order to connect producing countries to consuming countries. There are two complementary ways to transport gas efficiently, these are First the gases to the Duke, capable of transporting gas under pressure over long distances. They can of course be terrestrial or marine. When the gas is under pressure, it occupies less volume here and circulates faster, it can reach a speed of 40 square kilometers in the gases to the Duke, thus to guarantee a speed. Optimal and avoid energy losses, compression stations are installed at regular intervals, along the gas to the Duke, every 100 to 200 kilometers. For a little general information, the pressure is set between 16 and 100 bars in gases to the Duke and for safety and environmental reasons, they are the most often buried. It is not always possible to put the pipes underground, especially in desert regions or where the ground is frozen, the gas is then installed on the ground and the gases in the submarine Duke are rather opposed to the bottom. The session in France, for example, at the regional distribution level, it is no less of 32,000 kilometers of gas to the Duque that we have with 26 compression stations that part our entire territory. Another impressive figure, we know that in the world, gas circulates in more of a million km of gas to the Duke, which represents if we put all the gas to the Duke's wood end and well 25 times around the earth. Well, another option for gas transportation is the transformation into natural gas. Liquefied, liquefied natural gas. The gas is first liquefied by a thermal physical process which we have already previously discussed the principle, then it is transported by metal ship to the Consumption areas where gas transport to the Duke is too expensive or impossible. Because of too long a distance for example. The transport of liquefied natural gas by metal has thus become the main mode. 
of gas transportation in the world since 2022. At atmospheric pressure and a temperature of at least 161 degrees Celsius, the gas has secondance. In liquid form and the volume of the gas is reduced by 600 times compared to only 100 times. Compared to a gas at Duque and a pressure of 100 bars. This therefore makes it easier to transport larger quantities. Liquefied natural gas is transported on board giant metal ships specially designed for. This use and the largest metal workers in operation can measure up to 345 meters. Long and 54 meters wide and have a capacity of up to 266,000 meters. Of liquefied natural gas, it's just huge. This suggested, for example, refueling 133 times for a complete starchable rocket. On his dough shot. This vessel of course, must be thermally insulated to keep the gas in the state. Liquid while avoiding energy losses. On the other hand, it must also be understood that once they reach their destination, these Titanic ships. Cannot be docked on the codes, they unload their cargo at a terminal. Offshore metallurgical plant which is an liquefied natural gas receiving facility. The latter is then regasified before being transported by pipeline from the terminal. To the conventional distribution network. The United States has thus become the world's largest exporter of liquefied natural gas with 22% of the total. Followed by Australia with 20% and Qatar 19%. The EU, on the other hand, remain the world's main importer of liquefied natural gas with 26% of volumes. Ahead of China with 17% and Japan with 16%. About Chica also does not have any product supplies so there is what you need. In the States. Okay, but what about Brownsville? The next decade oil company, including the French Total Energy, is one of the main. Partners want to invest locally $18.4 billion in a metal terminal. Supplied by a pipeline from further north in Texas. It seems that to date this beautiful project is temporarily blocked for more. Administrative procedure issues, delaying the start of a project which nevertheless. Would bring employment to the local economy. And yes, let's remember that the current population of Brownsville is close to 200,000 people. With a fairly low average standard of living, the simplification of the announced regulations. Settlement may help to unblock the situation. Bypassing the current pipeline, there remains the sea route, but the commercial port. An industrial Blindsville cannot accommodate boats the size of metallurgical. Giants, the liquefied natural gas will therefore have to be transported there by smaller ships whose draft. Water will be compatible with the possibilities of the current channel. This constraint already exists for the trade in petroleum products, the port. From Brownsville already having many reservoirs in which fuel various evacuated. Well once we have our precious gas fleet on site in Brownsville, the question. Would then do without the most suitable mode of transport to the Boca Chica site, which is a distance of 15 to 20 kilometers depending on the starting point. Two options for this will then be possible, the first is to leave the methane. In liquid form, it is stored temporarily in tanks near the port. And delivery can then be carried out by truck as currently. This simple solution, on the other hand, would have an already significant global problem of saturation. Of the road network, with the stream of trucks on the road that annoyed the water inhabitants. In addition to this, with the increase in force due to the announced launches, thrombosis pain. Seems inevitable, so it's not the best solution. Why then not build a cryogenic pipeline like in Boca Chica, some will say. Well, simply because it is not possible, liquefied gases have. Strongly tends to heat up in the pipes several kilometers long. Even when isolated, and their mixing in the pipes also contributes to their heating. In addition to this, outside of transfer periods, this liquefied gas would transform. In gas, requiring frequent purging, which is complicated and risky. The other solution would then be to regasify the methane in Brownsville. And then transport it to the SpaceX site by gas. Stoke in at the liquefied natural gas terminal, when consumption requires it, the Gen Elia can. Effect to be easily regasified, its temperature is simply increased from about. Minus 162 degrees Celsius to more than 0 degrees Celsius or at pressure between 60 and without bars. 
the genelia can be warmed by horrified exchanges of only sea water or by combustion of part of the gas, and this solution would also have the merit of being compatible with the future gas project in the dupe text if it ever comes to fruition. It will then be enough to build a gas pipeline of around 20 kilometers to join the delivery site at the farmer's mouth, but the gas should then undergo further liquefaction. In the end, this procedure works on a technical level, but it is very energy intensive. Our liter of unreleased methane could well come close to the price of that of size that it has locally. Well, you felt it, the starchy project for strong growth is going very quickly. Will be hard to come by if this logistical problem is not resolved, and even if this obstacle has not. The nobility of a technological challenge such as loops and thermals or refueling. In flight, it could well complicate life around the Boca Chica site, with nearly of 360 trucks on average, all flutes combined in parlance, 95 thirds announced on. 2025 alone would represent more than 9,000 trucks, without counting of course all. Other deliveries of industrial supplies, personnel transport, in short everything. What it takes to run the Boca Chica site. It is currently impossible to say what technical solution SpaceX will adopt. But choices will have to be made whether it is the construction of a private road between the port facilities and the launch site or the post of a gas pay plane. Only technical and economic studies will be able to decide. This gas used as fuel in rocket engines does not, however, represent the largest volume concerning the two other filtered products consumed without moderation by the happy teams at SpaceX, Oxygen and Zot, the latter required in much greater quantity than our humble methane will probably be produced directly on site, greatly reducing the counter and logistics of the provisioning. From a geographical point of view and possible future development works will be carried out north of the highway fort, on the already heavily industrialized side of this region. The south of the lagoon on the Mexican side, for its part, is far from all centers of activity. Will be able to maintain its status as a protected area with peace of mind, the editors and others. Wild birds still have some rest and might insist on shows with their cousins and Mexican cousins from their protected nature reserve. As you can see, the rear really took the time to respond in detail to this question, it allows you to understand how it works. All gas transport systems in the world, and therefore to correctly understand all these difficulties that SpaceX has to face to make it work properly. This starbase and therefore this starship project. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time.